Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that control all of the world, like a big puppet game, have left everything mapped out for us all around. On my channel, I show the symbolism and from all around the world and bring it back to the Word of God. And I also show that the whole world is made up to show the story for the end, for the day of the Lord, when everything changes upon the earth. Jesus Christ did make all of the worlds and all of the universe. Now, every city and everything is mapped out like a grid or a circuit board. This is London, England and near Buckingham Palace, and this is showing exactly how the end of days will come. And I've matched this with Washington and Russia and several other places. Today we're going to show just here in London and match it to a couple of different hieroglyphs. You can see over here this boat, this ark, ready to launch. We will break each one of these down and match them to each one of these different hieroglyphs. The Mayan hieroglyph that supposedly had a date of December 21st, 2012, and I kept showing for years there is no date, and all of the Mayan scholars would not even show this real calendar, and I show that it's all about Jesus Christ. Right here, known as the little horn of the Bible rising up, the mark of the beast, the new world order, and this phoenix rising representing the rapture, right here. And this is the wheel of the great tribulation, now, this one here, I've shown that this is when the devil comes down, goes into Obama, blows these nukes near these domes, and that is when this phoenix rises. And we have a lot to do with the dog star Sirius. Everything has been created by the Lord, and the celestial realms and stars are all tools of his. This is the dog star Sirius at the time of the rapture over the domes. You see this pill, like they are opening up the pit to the uh, to the abyss and just like in the movie the matrix about take the red pill or the blue pill the great deception with russia right here we're going to show all of that today right over here right here is this person making somebody take the red pill looking like a bear and then they put this hat on them just as we showed with Miley Cyrus and the bears for Russia rises up. This is the person right here. And he or she has this big thing in her like ship, like a giant idol for everybody to worship. I've been showing, they show this in all of the movies. This is the movie Prometheus. The horns of the bull comes like this ship right here. We could have an alien type enter or even attack. See this right here, like the ship with the wheel of the Great Tribulation? And this is when the phoenix goes. There's that there. And you can see from the Prometheus thing, it was all about this big head and the idol worship. See this here? They had to stop him from coming to Earth because he was coming to destroy all of the Earth and bring death. Basically, idol worship. Because this is death. In the Bible it says you die with this. But we could see all of this right here. We can even see Prince William in here making everybody worship this big image of a dragon with a little horn. We're going to show all of this here today. And even with this boat represents the phoenix rising. So let's show all of this and have some fun. This is another hieroglyph I've broken down called the Dendera chart. But it shows right up here you see this bottle is called the leg of the bull. It represents the Pallades, the seven churches, the seven that Jesus holds in his right hand. In the book of Revelation, Jesus holds the seven stars in his right hand, where the, the sweetness has been bound, as God talks about when he talked to Job. Can you bind the sweet influence of the Pallades? This is the sweet influence and in where the blessings are poured out from. Even when this cycles around, the next age after this, the golden age, when this turns around, this big chart, 
this bottle will be pointing down and the blessings will be pouring out upon the earth to rebuild the earth. But right here is the rapture. You can see this lady with this phoenix representing the Jesus heel. See, this is Jesus right here. And this is one of his angels of the seven churches when he bruises his heel by these domes. When this bull goes down, the dog stars serious. We go over the horns of the bull. The mask of the man of perdition is revealed. They get this sword and this glove. And this flies away with all the souls that are with Jesus. You can see the dog star serious when we go in. And then this is the little horn coming. And they begin doing this mark of the beast with these snakes and a mark of the beast. This is the red pill. And you can see where Obama now gets up like this pirate guy, just like this, because he's going to be set free into his spirit. This is when Obama falls into great head wound too. And then the devil is free from his host body to go and rampage the world. But this is seen as a shoe and is also known as the Elysium Fields or heaven. You see this boat right here? I'm going to take all of this off so we can see it. But right now you see this boat? When this launches, it goes right through here and up here over everything and to right here. And this is called the shepherd's bush. Just like when Moses went and talked to the burning bush. Right here, the shepherd's bush. Well, we need a, this is heaven. And here is the boot of the Pallades, right here. There's even more to all of this. I will map this all out, but here's the shepherd's bush where we go to. And you can see right here, when you take this boot off, see how it's a perfect boot, first off? And you can see how it has the laces? Well, this is also at the exact same time when he kicks down the devil. And I've shown it looks like he wears this hat right here. He kicks him down. Boink. And that's the same time he is known as the accuser that sits before God and accuses us night and day. Since we are in grace and mercy right now, even though the devil has been sentenced, we are in grace and mercy. He has been sentenced to judgment. So he kicks him down when judgment comes. And now the devil has to come down and face judgment. We pass over judgment. In the book of Enoch, the devil has been granted respite until the day of the Lord. He is kicked down on the day of the Lord, the day of judgment, to come and get his judgment. And we pass over. We escape right there over to this. So that's the same situation that I keep showing over and over again, and we've verified this again now about the boot and the shepherd's bush. So let's keep on going. We will do each one of these and take them apart and keep going. Okay, we have the stage pretty well set. Let's show this right here first. You see this big image right here with the little horn right there. We matched that in several places, and here's a different hieroglyph. And it's showing right here this person with that hat making them eat this host with the snake. And then they are made to worship this image. You see this dragon right here? Right there? They have to worship that. You see all of that right here. And you can even see the woman right here passing over going over. See this woman right here inside this big dog? That's the dog star passing over. Here's that Eucharist they're going to make everybody eat, I keep showing. And then they cap the mouth and they cap the eyes and they make everybody worship the image of the beast. And with the mouth shut, there's, there's a lot to do with this. No spirits can get in you and you can't run your mouth to say anything. It's a two-fold project. They are locking up all of the hosts on the world and locking out all of the other spirits. Just this host will be inside of everybody, which is actually a little piece of him. Just like the... For those that have watched Harry Potter, I keep showing they show this all around. This is like Voldemort coming. And Voldemort split himself. By this guy doing this with these little things, 
he is basically splitting himself into every single person that will take this so that's he is fragmenting his soul by terror terrorizing everybody and tearing his soul apart and he puts a little piece of it right here into everybody that eats it so each one of these is like his little clone so to kill him you would have to kill all of his clones that's the scenario we have here he is everywhere and everything when everybody eats this this host a host means something's in it that's what that is and in the book of Daniel for the big-time Bible guys this is when they cast down the host and it prospers for a time and he makes everybody eat it in Daniel 8 right there that thing so let's go over here this is where it all starts I have shown before and I've actually tracked this if you watch my channel every single video is about this incident showing different evidence this is the arc of his testament for Jesus Christ when we rise just like the Ark of the Covenant an ark is like a boat a place for the souls that are all kept all of the souls for Jesus and God are placed inside of the ark and then at the on the day when the dead rise everybody will see the ark of his testament in the temple of God all perfect with scripture this dome represents down in San Diego by the San Onofre power plant which has been turned off and is actually just built as a giant bomb to crack the planet in half practically right here when this stone falls see this diamond the red bull grants wings and this is the salt and sea area where I have shown the spirits actually go into and because they have to go into the earth and then they can get into their host bodies wherever they go but there's a big machine about the earth the earth is like a all planets are a big machine for God even though it's not mechanical he works with living things but this is the diamond for the wedding when this hits this launches and then you can see right here this hook he drags up the little horn see him right here he's going down into his body now you can see this is like a funnel this spirit jumps see this funnel he goes over here into Obama and you see how one side is Obama's face and the other side is the clown's face just like Voldemort had the face on the back of his head he is two people prepared for this He goes right into Obama, he blows all the nukes, and he trades all of the people to Jesus, because Jesus stands up here and calls us out. We go right to him. There's this big pirate guy waking up, and he's like a spirit. See, like this little spike? He's like a worm. He can go into the next host. He goes right through the dog star and into Prince William right here or even into his child and this is when they begin this big mark of the beast stuff this right here represents the host you see how this little guy is holding a little circle like for that red pill and then you have the rabbit just as Morpheus told Neo you want to go farther down the rabbit hole and then he gave him the red pill right there for each thing I've shown this in several other places let's show it right here on the Mayan calendar right here you see the wheel of the Great Tribulation and you can see the rabbit right here I've had this on this piece of paper for almost three and a half years showing this you see that rabbit right there that's what's going in that's part of the Great Tribulation right there going farther down the rabbit hole see the rabbit right here now you have Prince William like the Pallades here and this is this star is like a guillotine and he's cutting off these heads chop 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 you either come over here and get your red pill or Prince William chops your head off and to begin all of this is when this nuclear weapon comes down see the nuke 
right there, the same day he falls, the same day he's kicked out, all the nukes go, and at the same time we launch. And at the same time for all of that, they get this sword, Excalibur. And this part right on top of this phoenix is actually a glove, so he can hold it. He can't hold this sword without this glove. You need this glove and the sword. And at the same time, we are released. You see the trade I keep talking about? They're not going to get this sword, and they're not going to get this glove, unless this phoenix flies perfectly to Jesus Christ. And then they will get their great tribulation and great war and everything else going on. The great deception. Jesus makes sure all of this goes perfectly even. Because the next part, it's part of God's wrath. It's a great deception. The time of temptation and testing. Alright, it seems like we have our foundation set now. So we can show, take each one of these images off and show them here. We'll start over here on this side. Let's take that hook off, the arc, the diamond, and the dome for right now. Now right here you can see the boat on top of this dome. One of the best ways to do things is to control your eyes. Here I like to teach a little bit also because that's what I do with horses. I work in the polo industry and as I was, I was a teacher for many years and a coach as well as a player and a horse trainer. But one of the ways to see how your eyes work is to look at this image right here of Obama. When you have your eyes on like say his nose and you control your vision, you will really only see his face. This is the way a person's vision works. You have like a tunnel vision. And then if you say look at this clown nose, you will really only see the clown. But then if you sit back a little bit and try to look at both, then you can see both. What I'm trying to do is show how you can control your vision. And that's how you can see the two pictures, the two sides, this face that face. Alright, I went a little too far. But anyways, I wanted to show how to control your vision because that's what you have to do to be able to see this or you will bounce everywhere. First, see the diamond or the dome. See this dome? Make sure you see that. Now see this image right here? The diamond coming? Right there. See, this is a diamond with a latch ready to go, and you can see him inside the diamond. Just as I showed, for those that have been with me, I showed at Washington this guy inside of Pandora's box with a big latch ready to come out. So you have him right there, the diamond, Red Bull Grant's wings. Now you can see the boat up here, just like this. And it even has a skate on it because we are skating out of here we are escaping we're crossing over judgment there is the ark right there this is where all this is where Jesus is putting all the souls they're ready to rise when he calls us Jesus is the only one that has been resurrected yet this has to happen for us to get all of our all of our dead relatives up too that are with the Lord. They're all sleeping, waiting to be called. And you can see he drags up this hook right here with the little horn ready. And this hook is in Jeremiah 50. This is the hook in the jaws. <clears throat> this event puts a hook in the jaws of everybody around the world to bring him out for World War III when the diamond comes on the dome all perfect just as we've been saying it comes down it crashes he goes right through this into Obama and blows all the nukes he comes down on the sun rays has the key to the abyss goes into Obama opens the abyss and he's free 
and the phoenix flies and the bear rises up all perfect everything as we've been showing so let's break down this area now so if we come to right here this park and everything is you can see all these different names the fountain lake stuff you can dig through all that if you wish to I've found the longer the video the longer the longer the video is the less people will watch it it's very hard to try to bring a end of the age groundbreaking story and show it all in a four minute video which would actually grab more people one day I'll be able to do it but I have to show the evidence to go with it if I just showed this map everybody just scoff and keep going we have to prove the case so here we have Obama we're going to show him that clown hat off and you have that funnel you can see the funnel right here now right up here we can see that this is Obama if you take your time and look at all of this right here just like this just like that right there he even wears this little clown hat that's Obama right there and then the other side with the clown mask and then you can actually see this little alien type figure there's a big thing about this little tooth you see this little tooth right here this means they're kinda like a different kind of vampire right here you see the little tiny tooth I've been doing some things about busting Stephen King because he seems to write and be possessed by these things and writes I mean most of the stuff he writes is shown in these things this is that spirit and right now his brand new book out called Dr. Sleep has a bunch of entities in it that have one tooth out like this and they're working towards the end of the age they it's called an inverted tooth it does something you see this alien guy this is what Obama really is and what it really is like this alien see this after it's done and he comes down and goes into see he has that tooth also see the little tiny tooth again and he goes into this big pirate like guy right here just as we showed and verified right we'll show him right here he's right in between his legs right there there he is and then this is him off and running and free right there you barely see him in there when this mask comes off and there he is but that's it right there then he can jump through the dog the dog star series will pick him up and put him into somebody that's what it does it can move the souls in and out of the hosts a human being is known as a host and move them around now we get over here to with the bunny and this guy and the dog let's show those I've actually shown this mask and Obama on that other hieroglyph also he's let's do that right here is the mask coming off see how it has the little nose and it has a little hat right here and then Obama's behind this right behind this mask at this time you can see again up here with the two domes and when this bull see this bull falls on the two domes the San Onofre power plant area this is when the mask comes off the man of perdition you can even see over here where they're doing a check mark on a man's head right there oops this isn't the best one but right here is the check mark on the man's head there's the mask coming off Obama there's that bull falling on the two domes all perfect for each thing right through here now let's take off some of these let's take off the dog the Eucharist the bunny 
see all that right there. Here this pirate, he's in the way a little bit. Now right here, you can see the dog. Let's do that first. The dog. The dog starts serious, ready to jump the souls. Now you can see the bunny right here, the big rabbit. Just like this. Now right here, you can see the man going across with this little Eucharist type thing. Him. So you have the dog. The bunny, as we've been showing over and over again all right there for each one. Moving on up to this side. Oops, let's put it like that. There we go. Now let's show Prince William and up here about this new, this is very intricate, it shows the star systems coming down on what is known as the serpentine. And at a certain time at the end of the age there will be a window through the Milky Way and it's, you go through what's known as the serpentine, called the serpent rope. And now all snakes are not just... I'm saying every time you see serpent doesn't mean devil or anything. Remember, Moses' staff was a snake, and he controlled it. You have to learn to control your sin. Moses controlled his, and he had a staff. That's what that means in here, that you can travel down the serpent rope. That's how these things come down, as they call it. They come down on the serpent rope, through the serpentine. But that's there. So let's show this here now. So let's take this off right here. Prince William off. We might have to get rid of this bunny and dog too, to get them out of the way. The dragon. dog. Guillotine. And a big pea thing. Okay, so right here is Buckingham Palace. Right here. Buckingham Palace. Right there. And you can see Prince William standing here, even holding little Georgie, or his little child. right here. You can see him standing here just like this. That's Prince William all inside of there. The P is even for the Prince, like the Pallades. Right here. Oops, not that one. There we go. You can see his little child right here with his little nose up. See right here? And he's catching things as they come down when they start doing the guillotines. So that's him right there. Now up here, this is very intricate. For one, it's he, f you see the, the boot and the man's head and he falls down through here? He goes through the star and then he ends up down here just as we showed right here coming through the star they even showed that this might be during an eclipse we don't know when the eclipse is I mean Obama has almost three more years left but they show it's gonna happen before he's out of office now you can see right here this shows that when he comes down see and he goes through the star at the same time the nukes go and he can go down through the serpentine and go into whichever host he ends up in at that point. And then this starts making the guillotines like a star. And they start cutting off these heads. Chop, chop, chop. Because they're getting rid of what's known as the smith. 
if they will. Just like in that movie, The Matrix, Neo fighting the Smith, and they cut out all of the Smiths, and then they put in their own type clones, making their own type of a Smith everywhere. But that's that right there with the guillotines, the star systems, the serpentines, the heads coming down, the nukes, him falling, and the boot when Jesus kicks him out of heaven, kicks the accuser down and calls us up. And you can see right here, right beside him, the perfect dragon. It's like this. Move that guillotine to show that the horn was right there. Let's move Prince William and then show the dragon. See how the horn of the dragon goes right up to the little horn to be perfect? Just like that. There he is. He's feeding the souls to the dog and to the dragon. The separation, if you will. That's all right there. Prince William, the guillotines. And the dragon. Okay, we have one more thing to show over here. Let's keep going. We have to do the red pill and these ones over here. Get our bunny back on there. Get the dog. We're all set. There we go. Okay, so let's show about this one right here. So if we take off this red pill Let's get rid of this guy. Get rid of the bear. Okay, so this is what we can see right here. First off, you can see this guy. This is the best one to look at first. Him. You see how your vision is like, like I'm trying to tell you, see the red pill, see this man, and see this head, and see all of that at the same time. It, it's very hard to do that. You have to do this like you're reading a blueprint. Your mind will take a few seconds and and then you can start to see these things. This guy coming. Even could look like a woman. See there? With that head in the ship, just like on Prometheus, because they have to all worship a a idol. Do you see right here this pill? that right there right there this rises with the bears or right when the phoenix rises it drags it up right there they've we've been shown this in every way possible it's in the bible where it called it's called a host is cast down and it prospers for a while it's in every movie around. Humanity has been warned in every way possible. Look at that. That's it right there. The red pill. You can even see the woman. Or the guy. See how it's like the pill coming and the idol? All right here. Just like that. And then you can see right here where they're doing something to the eyes to this bear as they showed with Miley Cyrus showing all the time. It's in everything. It's in all the music videos and all the TV shows and all the commercials. All of humanity has been warned in every way possible. This is so sad. I mean, just and when this all starts, everybody is going to be saying, why didn't anybody tell me? Why didn't anybody tell me any of this stuff? You know, and I go crazy on my channel and I'm very proper. It's one thing you learn about polo. You learn to keep your mouth shut and because it's a very I was a professional umpire too you it's very much of etiquette and couth and class you can't pop off and I do all these videos this way but I'm screaming out as much as I can I mean all you people that are helping me it's wonderful but man I see so many other big-time channels they won't even thumbs up my videos all the other preachers won't show any of my maps I mean I'm showing all of the end times as nobody has ever shown in the history of the earth with evidence with the Word of God with hieroglyphs from all around the world 
It, I am showing more evidence than anybody has ever shown in the history of the world. And I'm going to be gone soon. I live right on top of this dome. I'm part of this boat. When I launch out of here, everybody on this earth is going to be screaming, why didn't you tell me? And I've been telling everybody. May the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on us all. This is all real, and this is exactly how the end times is coming. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him for the dead, and you'll be saved. You are saved by the grace of our Lord God alone. Only by grace will you make it into heaven. All of, all of eternity people have been trying to fight their way into heaven. Only by grace are we going to get in there. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you to everybody who helps me. Thank you. You have the Holy Ghost in you. May Jesus Christ have mercy on us all. And all those poor souls once we leave. All of them are going to be screaming. Why didn't anybody tell me?